Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Tech from Knife from AndrewRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Axis ROM for Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint, including two more, Metro PCS and US Cellular. And let's go to dive into settings and go into device right away. This is show you the version and all that. So Android version is 4.1.2 Jelly Bean and build number is Axis M. So M is the build number. And while we're already here, I want to show you the model number. As you can see right there is uh, SCH I535. And I'm running on T-Mobile, which uh, usual stock model number is T999, three nines. Um, so if you have a different model number or if you get the same model number as me and you're running on a different carrier, don't worry about it. As long as your data and Wi-Fi, all that stuff is good, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Um, just the developer hasn't changed it for each specific uh, Galaxy S3 device. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, no problem at all. Um, so this one, it comes with S4 uh, weather widget. So let me show you that. It's on the last page, I believe. Yes, it is. So S4 weather widget. <laughs> um, right there, as you can see, another one I just put there uh, for fun. Um, icons are changed, so they are themed up. Uh, some of the icons, um, calculator, calendar, clock, contacts, email, um, settings, internet too. You also get S voice, which is from uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. So let's go and try that out. Uh, I'm going to say open browser. So let's try that out. Open browser. And give it a few seconds so it loads it up. And opening browser and give it a few seconds and it's going to go and open it. And there you go. So your browser is open now. So there you go. Um, and as you, as you saw here, um, it is white uh, toggles right here, which is really nice. I like white. It looks pretty clean on just about anything. And it does match all these icons, which have a little bit of white in all of them, all the themed icons too, which is nice. Um, you also get um, Galaxy S4 um, wallpaper, I believe. Yes, you do um, go to uh, wallpapers. And yes, you get Galaxy S4 wallpapers right here. So the one I put was the airplane. But you can go and choose whichever one you want. Um, also, I enabled um, Torch. So uh, once you're on here, uh, once you're on your lock screen, just hold the home button. And boom, you got your torch. Very, very clean, easy to do. And you just unlock your screen to turn it off. Very, very easy to do. Um, also, you got animation. So let's say I open Play Store. And I turn off my screen and turn it on. You're going to see um, the... the Look at the animation of it. Just look at it. <laughs> really hard to explain. So as you can see, the lock screen went up. And the app moved this way. So that's a very clean, uh, different uh, animation that you usually don't see uh, with Galaxy S3 devices. So let's try that one more time. And as you can see, that's pretty nice and clean. I like it. It's different, you know, than usual the stock browser or not the stock um, animations. So if we dive into settings, um, go into tweaks, and go into lock screen app customizer, lock screen settings, uh, lock screen options, and choose your lock screen, which is pretty darn cool. So if we choose this, uh, currently I'm setting Galaxy S3, but you can choose all these other lock screens. So let's just choose two other ones. Let's choose Xperia Z. So let's select that one and try that one out. Now you have Xperia Z on lock screen, which is really cool. So you have the blind effect, which I like. I personally like that. It's pretty cool. Um, let's choose uh, HTC Sense 4 and try that one out as well. So Sense 4, boom. You got the new lock screen. Very easy. No reboot required. Right on the spot, you have it. Uh, so you have that. And you also have uh, camera quick access. So make sure you're uh, set on Galaxy S3 ripple effect. And I think that's the only way it'll work um, is... Uh, hold on to the screen, rotate your device, and automatically you're entered into the camera app. Right there, very, very easy to do. You know, no FNE, just hold it down, tilt it, and you got your camera app right here. You can go and take it. And while we're already in the camera app, this is running on No2 camera, so you can get all those uh, special effects that the No2 usually comes with. So that's another great bonus. <laughs> very, very easy to do, too. Um, so it's pretty awesome. You also have, uh, if we're going back out a little bit, tweaks. Um, you also have Access Hub where you can uh, change it and theme all this stuff. So you can go and download applications. So if we choose general applications, you can go and download these three applications or you can go Google, Samsung, Audio, you know. You can also go into themes and get Galaxy Mod themes. So Galaxy Mod, Ga Galaxy Mod Red theme, Galaxy Mod Blue theme, and Galaxy Mod Stock theme. So you can choose whichever one you uh, prefer or like and you can get it right away very, very easily to do. Um, and, oh yeah, there's a couple other things. Two other things I want to show you is multitasking. It's from the Sense um, multitasking, as you can see. So you can swipe up or swipe down to actually, uh, you know, remove the multitasking from Tasker. So you can remove it, or you can just press the trash and remove all of them all at once. Very, very easy to do. 
and your power menu is a lot uh, has a lot more stuff. So as you can see, you got uh, restart, recovery, download, power off, um, and you also have this uh, data network mode and Wi-Fi, auto sync, Bluetooth, uh, auto brightness are new. Usually you don't get that with your power menu, so I like that. Uh, it's a lot easier to do and use. You know, if you want to turn off your Wi-Fi right away, boom, your Wi-Fi is turned off while actually going to appear. And I think that's a lot easier, especially if you have small hands. I got pretty big hands, you know, large enough hands. Um, if you have small hands and you constantly have to move your hand up to go to the uh, widgets, you can easily just hold down the power button, tap on this instead of actually going all the way up, sliding down and all that. So it's kind of easier way, just, you know, whichever one you really do prefer, it's available either way. Um, but that's about it. That is the Axis ROM for Galaxy S3 AT&T T-Mobile. Verizon Sprint, US, uh, US Cellular, and Metro PCS. Um, link down below for the ROM, and hopefully you enjoyed this ROM review. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner, as it does really help me a lot. Shows me to uh, appreciate these videos. You want to see more ROM reviews for Galaxy S3. And yes, the Galaxy S4 uh, videos are going to be coming out soon, once I do order it for T-Mobile on uh, pretty soon. Uh, it should be out pretty soon. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Link down below for the ROM. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter. Facebook and Google Plus. All three links are down below. Peace.